Hi, I'm Taylor. And I'm Joyce. And today we're going to be trying luxury Japanese canned food. <laughs> you can add a thing effect if you want. Okay. In Japan, great things come from unexpected places. There's pizza from vending machines, incredible meals from the convenience store, and sushi from conveyor belts. You can buy pretty much everything in tins, from bread, to seafood, to volcanic ash, and even air captured at the top of Mount Fuji. Then there's also the luxurious canned food category with options ranging from wagyu beef to king crab legs with gold flakes. There's even supermarkets dedicated to these sought after tins. And if you prefer to dine out, canned food bars and restaurants have been on the rise throughout the country where you can find everything from drinks to gourmet appetizers and meals served exclusively in cans. K&K &K is one of the leading luxury canned food brands in Japan since 1712. So I set out to find some of their products in Hong Kong and was able to find a small but adequate selection. Oysters, scallops. They're so cute. So cute. And with my very apocalyptic looking grocery cart in tow, I lined up social distancing style to pay. Then I went home excitedly anticipating the taste test to see if these products are really as good as people say they are. What kind of canned food have you tried? Well, in Hong Kong, there's a dish that I crave occasionally. It's called Tao Si Lang Yu, Tao A Choi. So it's like canned fried Dace fish, dace fish. Oh. I don't even know how to say it. And it's got like the fermented black beans in it. Oh. And you fry it with um, this lettuce type vegetable. Bread. I thought you were gonna say the abalone because abalone oh. gets crazy expensive in a can here. So it's more expensive than the fresh one, right? When it's canned and like I have no over idea. Time. This is definitely my first time trying Japanese canned foods. Ooh. So I'm really nervous. I'm actually, I feel like it's gonna be good because mm -hmm. Knowing the Japanese, they do everything to perfection. perfection. Like yeah. they're very passionate. No matter what job they do, they do it very passionately mm -hmm. and very perfect. Doesn't matter, like even more affordable options, even if you eat in 7-Eleven, it is delicious. Oh, I make it a point to go to 7-Eleven every single time. That's what I do <laughs> as soon as I get Mart. there. Yeah. And get the egg. Love. Yes. <laughs> so first up we have some sardines. Oh, it's very oily. Yeah. It looks like normal canned sardines, but very oily. There's a big, thick piece of fish. Like, these are big sardines. Yeah. Are you supposed to eat it, like, with the bone, too? I think sardines in Japan, you can chew the bone. Okay. Mmm. That's, That's really so good. so good. It's a little sweeter than I thought. It's really sweet. Right? Mmm. And the bone is like non-existent. Yeah, I don't know if it's gone or it's really yeah. soft. I think it's really, really, really soft and like marinated. Okay, it smells a lot scarier than it tastes. That is so good. Right? It's good. I think this with just like a bowl of white rice would be excellent. I'm gonna say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. The flavor is quite strong. Like it's it's a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, mm -hmm. super soft, Yeah. super meaty. Like, yeah, it is, it is. How do I? Fleshy. Yeah, fleshy. That's yeah. the right term. The bones are in here, but they're very soft. Yeah, super soft. Mm, I'm very pleasantly surprised, yeah. So this is a very, this is one of the really good Japanese brands. They do more luxury canned goods. Wow. And these are supposed to be alongside a drink, like a beer or a nice okay. cocktail. Okay. It's like beer foods. Ooh, um, nice and crisp. Ooh, super smoky. Oh, that is nice. Right? It smells like smoked salmon. It's, 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 okay, it reminds me of when you go to like a really fancy like omakase restaurant and they do like the smoked and they use the smoke gun. Yeah. And they like, there's like a dome and they do the ch and then like. Wood, it, they're cooking yeah, on the oh, wood. Yeah, and it's smoking yeah it up. smells like that. Oh, it smells like a Canadian campfire. <laughs> it smells they like a, a Canadian it. bonfire. <laughs> Not to be confused with an American bonfire. Like, I mean, my I didn't know they smelled different, Taylor. Canadian wood. <laughs> Canadian wood. <laughs> Maybe it's a maple syrup tree. I think they're just called maple trees. <laughs> okay. 
Why do we oh, keep smelling it? Let's just eat so it. Amazed. I'm so no, amazed. No, it smells really, and it looks really good too. It's not too oily. I think it has to be oil to like preserve it, right? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna go for a tentacle or a body? I like tentacle. Oh, look at this nice fat tentacle. It's chewy. I'm not into it. Okay. I know the perfect description for the texture. Texture feels like when you have string cheese and you bite into it instead of stringing it. It's almost right? like the poutine cheese with the, Ooh, the, without the, the sound. Yes, a little bit. I told you there was Canada in this. <laughs> it says B mustardo. Yeah, mustardo. So, so it's baked B bacon and mustard. Oh wow. You can see the little mustard grains. Yeah. It kind of looks like it reminds me of um, Chinese pork belly oh, yeah. stew, right? Yeah. It has like nice marbling. Yeah. I think the word bacon really threw me off. But like you got strips. Yeah. So it's got really nice layers of meat and fat and then skin. Oh, did you see that glob of sauce drop? Do you want to cut it out? No. I feel like this would be good if we heat it up though. Oh, should we cook it? No. <laughs> or if you were to like cook a bowl of soup noodles and like put this on top, mm. I think that might be okay. Oh no, I'm so confused. Like I want to like it, but I'm just not liking it, but I can't really pinpoint. I just think like it's like the, the congealed sauce and like the globs of fat that are making me like really not like it. Maybe we should have done this blindfolded. Now the cockles. Oh. <laughs> Thought it'd be in a spicy sauce. Mm. Whoa, it's huge! That's a huge cockle. Have some sauce. <laughs> Let me feed it to you. Scared of this texture. I don't like cooked oysters. I don't like the texture, and this is this is reminding me of that. I only like them raw. Oh, this cockle. So <laughs> yeah. I like it. I hate it. A salted tire. No! It's rubbery and chewy, but bouncy, and it, I, there's like different organs inside or something. It's a lot sweeter than I thought. It sweet. kind of, yes, the sauce is a bit sweet. It reminds me of, um, have you ever had those Japanese snacks where it's like a dried scallop? I like that texture better. Mm hmm. It's tougher. I yeah. Think, I don't know. The, this is a bit mushier. Mushy. For sure, yeah. But still with like an outer layer of bounce. <gasps> No, this looks different. Wait, wait, there's like there's other snail things. in there too. Yeah, so this is what the conch is. That one was a mussel, I think. No, Ooh, that was a cockle. We ate, we both ate cockle. Yeah, oh, okay, now we have to try the sea, sea snail. snail. I mm. think that's what, I was expecting this texture for some reason. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's like a normal snail mm. texture, but not too chewy. I like this texture. I just wish this sauce was like a spicy sauce, not a salty water. Yeah, me too. I think the image is how you're supposed to make it. Oh, so you're supposed to cook it up? No, I'm supposed to cook it. no not cook, but like... Like to kick it up a notch, right? Okay. I'm going back now. <gasps> this is the egg. Oh, it's so cute. I love the packing. It's an egg in a can. Mm. It's in a fish soup stock, so like a dashi. It has bonito flakes in it um, and kelp. Extract in mm. it's a little bit of seaweed. Okay. Ooh. Oh. It looks fluffy though. I like it, it's spongy, I would say. It looks like it would be fluffy if it weren't soaked in a broth. Mm. Right. Like it started off fluffy. Yeah. It looks really good. Ooh. And it has a lot of weight to it. Mm hmm Doesn't taste like an egg. Yeah, I don't like the sauce. Tastes like a fish. I'm confused because it looks like an egg, but it tastes like a fish. Yeah. Not eggy enough. Yeah, not eggy. Oh, this will be good. Have you ever tried this type of what's it called in English? Mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp. Oh, it's with a wine. Is it in wine sauce with garlic? It's white wine and garlic and chicken bouillon. Maybe not a lot of people have tried mantis shrimp before, but in Hong Kong, we have a special type of um, way of eating our seafood and it's called typhoon shelter. Um, it's like a lot of different garlics and spices and they fry it together. Mm. And 
like the classic way of eating mantis shrimp in Hong Kong is that style, Bay Phong Tong style. Oh. So I've never had it in like a saucy way before, so. Oh. Looks like a pine cone. Yes. Look, it's like cloudy over here. Oh, that's oh. weird to me. That is oh, no. weird to me. Why is it disintegrating? Oh, no. Wait, has it gone off? It's like melting. It's not supposed to melt. That's not the texture. There's a tail in there still. I don't think canned food goes bad, right? That's the point of it. It does go bad. That's like the common misconception. It looks kind of like an alien. Like it's kind of out of this world. The tail thing is throwing me off. Are you supposed to eat that? Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. One bite. Yeah, like. Okay. Timon and Pumbaa with the bugs. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, sorry, I can't. Oh, really gross. Oh, it's it's like spicy. A... <laughs> it's got like a stinky aftertaste. <laughs> yes. I can't. What does that taste? It's, it stays no matter what. I don't know what it's, that is. It's like in my teeth. Is it the- It's almost numbing. It just says spice. It doesn't say what the spice is. Still so. stinky in my mouth. We need something else quickly. That was really gross. <laughs> huh? Okay. Yummy. Yeah. No. Ew. Lobster. I'm treating you to lobster, baby. Lobster. Yeah. Oh, lobster meat is from Canada in crab, crab broth. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Okay. Oh yeah, this is another Korean one. Oh, it comes with a little spoon. Cute. That's so oh, thoughtful. The container is so pretty. Yeah. That's nasty, man. That's that nasty. was not what I was expecting. That's why there's a spoon. Yeah, I was, maybe it's like a pate type situation. You're supposed to put on crackers? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we should feed each other. Mm -hmm. This is a preview of but like... That's why you put so much... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a preview of like... What are you doing? Maybe we should it! This is like a preview of um, how we're gonna be like when we're older. We don't really have teeth anymore. But we're still friends and we still want to see each other in my traces. It's not the worst. It's just the texture, to be honest. The flavor tastes like lobster, it's good. But it's like ground up, like minced meat almost. But yeah. I think on crackers or something like you said, mm. like with some like spring onion or some other flavors, it's just a little yeah. bit of that, because it's very strong and very overpowering. Just a little yeah. bit of that on something, it would be okay. I've seen this on the online supermarkets. This is supposed to be good, I think. So these are like the top expensive ones so far, right? I think this one's, oh shit, another spoon. <laughs> God, not that texture again. It's gonna be the same as the lobster one. Oh! But it looks like crab meat. Like it's it does, very, yeah. It's very thin and flaky, not like the imitation one that's like thick and rubbery. Yeah. Mm. Okay, way better. This one's okay. Yeah, because it's not too soft, it's bouncier. Yeah. And then there's flakes of the meat. You can feel the, the, yeah. Can feel the meat texture. Mm. In general, though, I feel like all of these tastes have been, in general, very sweet. Yeah, it's surprisingly sweet. I yeah. thought it'd be way too salty, but Same. the meat is sweet. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm not so into like sweet foods, but I think it tastes good. Mm. Oh, it's so cute! Blueberries. This one is for Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good. This one looks really good. How can you tell from the outside? You said that last time. Let's open it. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's whole berries. It's whole berries. I was expecting like more of a puree. Oh, yeah, yeah. same. Yo, or like a jelly or something, right? Yeah. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be good on like a panna cotta or something. I feel I'm gonna get some of that sauce. This is gonna be real good. Mm hmm. Yep, I approve. It tastes like a blueberry. The blueberries are more soft though. They they're are. Not, they're they're kind of like cooked, like yeah. a bit macerated. Mm. It's really like good. in between a fresh blueberry and a blueberry jam. It's like in yeah. the middle, a little bit soft, a little bit juicy. Yeah, I, I like it. I approve. This is good. Is this a mystery one? This is the last one. So, hey. 
オタヌヨヌヨ What about? Yeah, that's a yo. オタメヨメヨ Hey! スカウトメヨオタテあー What's the U though? There's no U. There was a U、oh, in front of it. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, there's a U. <gasps> Uni! It's $78. Oh, look at that texture! <laughs> Why do they do this? You can't see, but my toes kind of curled a little bit. Like, once I saw I was like, ooh. I thought it was going to be layered. It's all meshed together. It smells kind of whiny. Oh, yeah, like there's alcohol. Yeah, there's sake、right? in there. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yo, the skin! There's a skin! Oh, oh no, I think it's a paper. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> They were so dry. <laughs> I hope that's alcohol because something is burning. Vegetable oil, dried egg, vinegar, sugar, dried salt, egg, cornstarch, milk, mustard. All right, so top three. My third favorite was the blueberry.、Mm-hmm. And then it's the snail in this one. Because the texture was amazing.、Mm-hmm. And then it's the sardine, the first one that we tried. I think I would be the exact same. Yay! Yeah. The only one I would possibly eat again, other than this. Is those the、three. mantis shrimp. No. <laughs> the only one I would possibly eat again is the tamago, although I didn't like it that much, but it was pal- palatable. The crab, maybe in a salad or on crackers or on like <sighs> in a sandwich. But on its own, I would only eat the ones you mentioned and the egg possibly. All right, I guess that's all, guys. That was our review of Japanese and a few Korean ones,、uh, canned food. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you tried any of these or what the most interesting thing in a can you've tried. I've actually come across other ones、um, from the UK and from the US that had cheeseburgers in a can or bread in a can or a full breakfast in a can. but... Unfortunately, they weren't able to ship to me, so we weren't able to try those today. But maybe next time.、Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.、Uh, we're also going to be filming a video on Joyce's channel. It's fashion related, so I will link that below. And she's kind of new to YouTube. She's a YouTuber now, so please subscribe to her too. And、Thank、I、you. will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.